Theodore, where are you going? You need to come back right now. We haven't finished our conversation about the baby yet. Yes, we have. Camilla, you can't change my mind. I'm not having a baby, and you're not keeping it. I'm gonna stay at my parents' house until you realize how insane you're being. What? Are you crazy? We can't work things out if you keep running away like this. You need to come back so we can figure it out together. How could you leave your pregnant wife at home alone? We've both already said everything we needed to. Until you get rid of the baby, I won't come home. I could never get rid of this baby, Theodore. Why are you being so stubborn? We've already talked about this. We said we wouldn't have kids at this time of our lives. When you proposed to me, you said we could have as many kids as I wanted. You're breaking your vows by asking me to get rid of this baby. And we still will have as many kids as you want. But please, Camilla, we're just not ready to be parents yet. We both just graduated from college. Even though we're both employed, our entry-level salaries aren't enough to support a newborn baby. I'm not afraid of hardship. We will struggle. We'll be broke. But I know we'd be happy because of the baby. You love babies, remember? That's one of the reasons why I wanted to marry you. Look, I can go through the difficulties with you, but I don't want my child to suffer from hardship in the early years of their life. It's traumatizing. It's much better to wait until we're ready. Is that really the case, Theodore? You want to wait to have kids because you want to make sure our baby will have a good life? Yes, absolutely. I'm sorry for overreacting before. When you announced your pregnancy, I was really shocked and exhausted from work. I couldn't get my words out correctly. Please forgive me. I don't know what to think anymore, Theo. Camilla, I love you, and I know I would love this baby. This is just the wrong time. We can't afford the extra costs of diapers, childcare, doctor visits. There's just too much to keep track of. Don't worry, we will have a baby when we're prepared for it. Right now, we just really need to focus on getting our finances together. What do you say? Can't we just keep the baby and ask for our parents' help? I don't think they'd mind chipping in for their grandchildren. We can't. I don't want to ask anybody for money, not even my parents, and especially not yours. Plus, it's not just about the money. We're both young. If we had a baby now, that's the end of our freedom. Neither of us would be able to develop our careers with a screaming baby at home. Okay, I understand your point. I promise I'll consider what you're saying when I think about what to do with the baby. Now, can you come home, please? I miss you. I'll come home once you reach a decision. I need you to make a decision before we continue our relationship. Fine, I'll get an abortion. Are you positive? Yes, I don't want to raise a kid with an unhappy and unsatisfied dad. I want you to be happy and excited for my pregnancy, not upset like you are now. I need you to be as on board with a baby as I am, so I'm willing to delay my pregnancy for you. Thanks for being such an understanding wife. I'm so happy that I married someone like you. I'm on my way back now. Drive safely. Hi Camilla, it's Lillian. Your husband's friend from college? Hi Lillian. I remember we met at the wedding. How are you? I'm well. I heard that you're pregnant. Congratulations. You must be so happy. Thank you. But how did you know that? Did my Theodore tell you? Yes. He also told me about the little argument you guys had the other day. I can't believe that you even considered keeping the baby. You're only 22. That's very irrational. Um, that was a private conversation between my husband and I. I don't know why he would tell you about our argument. But anyway, I had my own reasons to keep the baby. And I still stand by them. You're clearly unaware about our relationship, but Theo and I are like super close. Like soulmates. I'm up to date with everything going on in his life, as he is with mine. From the second I saw him, I knew he would be an important person in my life. I still can't believe my poor, precious friend ended up with someone like you. Wow. Are my hormones going crazy, or are you being absolutely unhinged right now? Don't talk to me that way, Lillian. You're pissing me off. Calm down. I'm just sharing my thoughts about your husband, whom I adore. 
since he was telling me all about your abortion, I thought I should talk to you about it too. Woman to woman. You're still getting one, right? I'm sorry, but this is none of your business. Maybe you're one of his closest friends, but I don't need any consultation from you. I would appreciate it if you could stay out of our problems in the future. <laughs> Whatever, Camilla. I was trying to start a friendship with you, but you're being so arrogant. Just so you know, Theo and I know all of each other's secrets. If you ever need anything from Theo, you can always come ask me. He'll listen to anything I say. Lillian, this is incredibly inappropriate. I am Theo's wife, and I'm carrying his baby. Even though you might have known him longer, Theo is his truest self when he's with me. So you don't have any information about Theo that would be valuable to me. Theo and I made a vow at our wedding to spend the rest of our lives together, a life that you're not part of. So stay out of it. A baby? <laughs> it won't be here in a week. We're already planning for our next baby. Lillian, I'm sensing jealousy from you. If he didn't want you before he met me, there's no way he would want you after we married. Let him go. He's a married man now. You're wrong. All of our friends are betting when you two will get divorced. We're all just waiting for the day the announcement comes. How dare you make a bet like that? For your own friend? You're wasting your time. That day will never come. I don't want you to contact me or my husband anymore. Leave us alone. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Camilla. <sighs> Whatever. I get to spend the rest of my life with my husband while you waste your life away. I don't want you to contact me or my husband anymore. Leave us alone. Goodbye, Lillian. Hey, Camilla. Just giving you a heads up that Lillian is going to move in with us temporarily starting next week. Can you prepare the guest bedroom for her? Lillian, your friend from college? Yeah. You remember her? And why would she be moving in with us? Because she's pregnant. She needs me to take care of her. Oh, wow. Where is the baby daddy? Even though you two are best friends, I don't think it's right that you're going to take care of her while she's pregnant. That's someone else's job. Well, Camilla, it's my baby. You said what? I'm the baby daddy, okay? I got her pregnant, so it is my responsibility to take care of her. You're seriously telling me you knocked her up while we were married? <sighs> Say it's a joke, Theo. I think you can understand where I'm coming from, Camilla. What the heck are you talking about? I have no idea why you would have hooked up with another woman. You cheated on me, and with your best friend whom I've met. <laughs> this is insane. Listen, Camilla, you're barren. It's impossible for you to have a kid. So don't you see why I would have wanted a different chance at a baby? I cannot believe you would say that. You made me infertile, Theodore. You demanded I get rid of our first baby because you were not ready to be a father. That was on you. But you cannot blame me for that. In the end, you made your choice to have an abortion. And it's not my fault that your body couldn't handle it. A standard abortion wouldn't have made anybody else infertile, except you. You have no one to blame but your own weak body. I was such a fool to let you convince me to get an abortion. Do you remember what you said the day I found out I was infertile? You said you would never leave me. You said you don't need a baby to have a happy life. You're a cheater and a liar. You've broken our wedding vows twice. Camilla, you knew that I've always wanted to be a father. And now I have a chance to be one. Lillian is four months pregnant, and it's getting harder for her to live by herself. We need to protect this baby. She needs to stay with us. This is absurd. You don't feel guilty at all for leaving me barren? And now you want me to let your pregnant mistress move in with us? You have some nerve, Theo. I don't see the issue. We aren't divorced yet, so that baby is going to be your stepchild. That means you should be giving us a hand to take care of the baby and its mother. Excuse me? Are you asking me to be your maid? Taking care of your mistress and her baby? Seriously, Theo? At least the baby shares my blood. It's better than your idea of adopting a kid from an orphanage. What makes this kid different from one we pick from an orphanage? Come on, Camilla. That's your stepchild, you understand? 
I understand that you're completely insane. It's an affair, child, not my stepchild. And you're asking me to help you with the consequences? Absolutely not. Let me tell you, Theodore, this is also my house, and I'm not going to let your mistress or a fair child live under my roof. If you feel so strongly, how about you just move out? Theodore, I can't leave her alone. She's pregnant. Besides, I know your parents bought you a condo before our marriage. You could live there until Lillian gives birth. Just live alone for a little bit. Screw you! I'm not leaving! If you want to take care of your pregnant mistress, you can move out yourself. Once you pack up all your things, we're getting a divorce. We don't have a place. Her contract is up next week. That's not my problem. Why are you being so stubborn? Don't you think that you should provide a pregnant woman with a place to live? You always advocate for women supporting women. But look at what you're doing. You're abandoning a vulnerable pregnant woman even though we have a spare room in our house. Oh my god, fine! If you can move her in, just do it, Jesus! I really appreciate it, Camilla. Listen, Lillian is moving in next Tuesday. Can you start cleaning up today? I'll text Lillian now that she has a place to stay. I'll see you soon. Good morning, Camilla. So you finally found out about me and Theodore. I'm so sorry I couldn't tell you sooner. Is this Lillian? Yep, it's me. Oh, but in seven months, you can call me his baby's mother. I'm so happy just thinking about it. See, I told you that Theo is my soulmate. After all these years, you're still as shameless as you were in college. What do you want from me? I just wanted to say thanks for letting me move in and for agreeing to take care of me and my baby. You're so kind. I never agreed to take care of you. What? But... Theodore said you did. Maybe he lied to you. Camilla, I already told you, we never lie to each other. That's why we're soulmates. And I'm the one having his baby. <laughs> Thank God I didn't have a child with an adulterous man. I feel sorry for your kid, because it'll live its whole life being the result of an affair. Poor baby is going to be so embarrassed when they find out. Shut up! You know what's embarrassing? You used to brag about your marriage, but now look at you. Baron and getting a divorce. I thought I was going to regret my abortion for the rest of my life. But you're making me feel like that was my greatest decision. Because otherwise, my kid would have been raised in an unhappy family. Now you too can bear that burden of raising a kid in a messed up household. Mm, nice speech, but I don't give a crap. Anyway, Theodore said that I could move in next Tuesday. But I want to move in sooner. My hormones have been all over the place. Tell me that you can get the place ready before then. I don't know about that. What's wrong with you? You promised to let me move in. I said you can move in if you really need to. I didn't say I would take a part in it. You're so stingy, Camilla. It's okay. Theo promised that he'll do anything to make me comfortable, so he can take care of me instead. Great. Then he can do that. But the house doesn't just belong to him. This is my house, and I will do whatever I want. What do you mean? Are you going to bring a lover home? No, are you crazy? I'm not a cheater like you two. Then what are you talking about? Nothing special. I'm going to tell Theo that you're scheming something. He'll make you stop whatever you're doing. Sure. Bye. Camilla, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? I thought you agreed to let Lillian move in and take care of her. Why are your mother and sister moving into our guest bedroom? Why would you do this? Did I really welcome Lillian into our house? What? You did. I said that if you can move her in, then go ahead. But this is my house too. And I asked my mom and my sister to move in with me. You lied to me. That was supposed to be Lillian's room. Where is she supposed to go now? Hey, Theodore, can you stop talking? Why on earth do you think that I would be okay with living with the woman who stole my husband and ruined my marriage under my roof? I'm already preparing the divorce papers, so you'll receive them soon. Until we've completed all the necessary divorce proceedings, my family is going to live with me in my house. And I don't give a crap about what you do with your mistress as long as it's not under my roof. 
What? No, Camilla. You cannot divorce me for at least the next six months. And why is that? Listen, I'm about to start a very important project in my company. If I get into a divorce now, they would look poorly on me and cut me out of the project. This is a career-shaping move, Camilla. I can't lose this opportunity. Your career is the reason why you made me get an abortion in the first place. You can solve this mess yourself since you agreed to get Lillian pregnant this time. We're divorcing no matter what. I will not stay married to a cheater for another six months. Camilla, what can I do to make you change your mind? Mmm, you can go kill yourself. Camilla, only six months. Not a big deal. And then you'll ask your mother and sister to move out so that Lillian can move in. That's the plan. Wow, what a perfect plan. You can do that in your own house. Can you try to understand? Lillian is at the most important stage of the pregnancy, since she's vulnerable and weak. And I'm going to be busy with this new project. We need your help, Camilla. As my wife, you have an obligation to help your husband. You are such a disgusting and shameless bastard. I have no obligation to you after you broke our vows. Okay, fine. If this is really your choice, then so be it. We'll divorce and I'll marry Lillian. At least she can give me kids. You're useless as a wife. Go right ahead. Let's see how long this affair relationship will last. Lillian and I are happy to raise a kid together. We love each other and we'll love the kid too. Love is something meaningless to you, Theo. You proved that to me when you cheated on your wife with your best friend. This is different. Lillian and I are soulmates. Sure, Theo, if you say so. The next day, Lillian used Theo's phone to call me after I blocked her number. At first, she was acting like a damsel in distress, sharing all of her pregnancy symptoms. I knew she was lying because she was too far along her pregnancy to still be having morning sickness. That liar. When she realized I wasn't changing my mind about moving my mom and my sister out, she started threatening to sue me. What do you think she could have possibly sued me for? I asked her if she didn't have enough money to rent an apartment, then how could she afford to raise an entire kid? Neither her nor Theo could answer my question. My mom and my sister stayed with me until I got through the entire divorce process with Theodore. I don't know where they ended up, and I frankly did not care. But you won't believe what I found out. Theodore and Lillian got a divorce after a year of getting married. It turns out that Lillian had gotten an abortion when she was just a month pregnant. That means there was no baby when Theodore was trying to move her into my house. She was lying the whole time. The baby was an accident, and Lillian never actually wanted to have children. But she used it to her advantage to steal Theodore away. They are both completely insane. As for me, I'm still living in that house by myself. And you know what? Next month, I'll be welcoming a new member to the household. After months of deliberating, I decided to adopt a child from an orphanage. After months of paperwork, I finally passed through all the tests. Julie is so excited to move into her forever home tomorrow. After all my turmoil, I can finally call myself a mom and create a truly happy family with my new daughter.